future. So thank you, Madam Chair. That's my contribution. I'll call Dr Duncan Webb. Um, thank you for uh, this call. Just You're wanted welcome. to comment on a couple of matters that have been raised in the House uh, this morning. And firstly, the privacy issue. Um, and it's right that the Privacy Commissioner did express uh, these some concerns around the gathering um, of personal information, as is entirely appropriate. It's important to remember, however, that the function of the function of the, uh, the Earthquake Commission here um, is really to ensure, importantly, preparedness in respect of an earthquake, and a lot of the information will be risk-based about where uh, loss is likely to occur and to ensure the Commission can discharge its functions um, in terms of informing members uh, of the public what steps to take to protect themselves against uh, those issues. Um, and in respect of the time limits issue raised by Mr McKelvey, um, the uh, balance struck here is an important one because, in fact, by regulation, the Minister can extend uh, time limits where certain circumstances occur. And Mr McKelvey pointed out hidden damage. Um, and under Section 2AA1, um, the insured person who couldn't know that the damage existed, even acting reasonably, um, may have that time extended. And the minister can, in fact, extend that time not only outside the three months, but even beyond the two years. So it is entirely, as in, in fact is sometimes happening in Christchurch and Kaikoura today, uh, damage may be hidden, only discovered when someone pulls up the floorboards or whatever. The minister can still extend the time for those kinds of things. So I, I, uh, this uh, has been a very good process. Um, these matters are being um, have been addressed. And the other final thing I'd say is that there is, of course, th this piece of legislation came out of work um, of the previous government, in fact, it is the low-hanging fruit. It is the things we can immediately address. There is a, um, a commission, a, a commission uh, of inquiry, which is currently being undertaken under the guidance of Dame Sylvia Cartwright. Um, there are other things in this Act which will be able to be addressed, and that will no doubt be an entirely separate uh, and more comprehensive piece of work. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the question is at part one, stand part. All those in favour say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Members, we come to the debate on part two, uh, which is clauses 8 to 12 and schedule two.